and then people come and tell you that uh, you know elections will be postponed okay postpone the elections i don't know what the situation is going to be like in december but if you're going to postpone the elections begin to think about the consequences one first consequence this government cannot stay in power beyond january 6 2001 this government will have no mandate it cannot stay in power that's very clear so if elections are going to be postponed it means that this government is going out of office and we are going to get a new government by December, by January 6th, 2021. Now, how do you get that new government? It is obvious that the Speaker of Parliament cannot form an interim government. There has been no Speaker of Parliament on January 6th, 2021. There will be no Speaker of Parliament. There will be no Parliament and therefore no Speaker. So the likely, the likely, the likely thing, the thing which is likely to happen is that the Chief Justice may assume power and form some skeletal government to conduct elections in three months. But even there, there's a problem. You know the problem? Because the constitutional instrument to provide guidance for the elections will have to be laid before Parliament. And because there will be no Parliament, how does the EC lay a constitutional instrument for organizing the election? That's a, a constitutional crisis for us. You understand? So those who think that if there is no election, Nana Akufuado will continue to be president are deceiving themselves. He will not continue to be president. It is not possible. The constitution does not allow it. You understand? But me, I'm even surprised that people have gone to December 7th. March 4th. There are issues before us on March 4th we can't deal with, and we have run to December 7th. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Let's deal with the two. If we deal with the issues properly today, we will have elections on December 7th. If we fail to deal with the issues properly today, then we will not have elections on December 7th. So let us focus attention on dealing with today's issues well, so that we can have our elections on December 7th and will not run into a constitutional crisis. That's all.